Oh, hey, what's up? It's me, your girl. You haven't seen me in a minute. It's fine, it's fine, we're still friends, it's cool. It's just been a minute, life's been busy. 2020 has been a lot, and I honestly haven't felt creative enough to do a video. <laughs> anyway, so today, I'm ready to be that bitch with the black hair again, with the black lipstick and the just, you know, we're ready to go back to black. So it might look like my hair is black right now on camera, but like it's not. Just take my word for it, it's not. It's like this, like just chocolate brown, like milk chocolate brown, like a dark milk chocolate brown. I don't know, but it's not black. My eyebrow products are black and it just, it's like a weird contrast right now and I'm not happy with it. So... Now, that's much better. Okay, now that my eyebrow product's gonna match, we can go ahead and get rid of these things. That's what I'm talking about. I haven't done a black eyeshadow look in a long time. I also have found a bunch of makeup tips on TikTok, just in the whole span of me ever watching TikTok, that I'm dying to try. And the number one is like the actual way you're supposed to do black eyeshadow. I I didn't know this, but it all makes perfect sense when I saw them talk about it and do it. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. So um, black eyeshadow, black, um, black eye primer, black eye primer. I don't have black eye primer, but I do have eye primer and I have a black eyeshadow pigment. We're gonna put a little bit of this down, our glob of eye primer. Now we're gonna go into the, bl oh shit, I haven't done this in a minute. <sighs> You're gonna go into the black pigment, like really get it on there. And we're gonna mix it. Should be like blacker. Honestly though, no, it needs to be blacker. So. Here's what we do. Here's the deal. Black eye primer. And you're just gonna kinda treat it like normal primer. Oh f you know what I probably should have done? I probably should have put down regular primer and then this. our under eyes right now because this is why we do eyeshadow before everything eyeshadow over everything because fallout and like that shit like we don't need those issues in our life we've already got enough going on in 2020 we don't we don't worry about the under eye at least not now we look crazy so now go back with the same pigment a dry just brush in the pigment and we're gonna pack it on top oh i mean yeah because my issue with black eyeshadow no matter what kind of pigment i i mean what kind of primer i use it always creases i got creasy eyes so we're gonna see if this happens now this primer is actually really dry now because the black pigment is in there, so I should have done one eye, packed the shadow on, and then done the other. But, you know, you live and you learn. It's fine, we're learning together, and I'm learning for you. So, you're welcome. This is packing on a lot better than I've ever been able to pack on black. So cool. This is where you pick what kind of black eyeshadow look you're doing. Are you gonna do a cool eyeshadow? Are you gonna do a warm eyeshadow? Are you gonna do a neutral? We're gonna do cool because I just dyed my hair blue black. Yeah, so I got this little baby in a, uh, an Ipsy, but it's literally the freaking best shade of blue I've ever used in my entire life and I'm obsessed with it. So now that we've got that, let's, let's take a trip back to the black because what we need to do is just do a little dip and a big, big fluffy brush. Just one, one little stick in the mud. And we're gonna just, we gotta buff these layers out. See how we've got that harsh line? Actually, you know what? Let's use, let's use a little bit of a tighter brush. Not that, not quite that loose. Yeah, so we definitely should have had eye 
fucking shadow primer on because yeah, it's not blending so great, but it's fine. I'm learning a lesson for you. So it's fine, it's fine. Ain't like crazy, I know. Now we're gonna go into our little blue. I don't even know what this color is called. It's like in Swedish. It's all in like Swedish or something. And I'm not about to try and say that. So we're just gonna swivel it. You see what I'm saying? Like, see that little gradient? No. You do have to go back again. There's gonna be some back and forth going on between the, uh, the black and the blue. I'm gonna mix these two colors right here, like that. And we're gonna just diffuse right out here, which is kind of difficult, because like I said, we don't have eye primer on, which was my mistake, my fault, but you know, it's, I, it's important. I should have done it, I skipped it. I didn't wanna start over. I didn't wanna start over. And I would tell you these colors, but I don't know the names of the colors because James Charles decided not to put the names underneath the palette and like in this stupid little film that like I didn't keep. Now, onto the other side. First, it's primer. Primer. This is literally my favorite primer. I will vouch for this. I will talk about it all day. Who's this? Rodeal Soft Focus Glow Drops. And it's pretty pricey. Like I'm pretty sure this bottle is like $55, but I've had this. Like you literally only need to use like that, like that much. And you got all this. So it lasts. But for like a nice hydrated, dewy, Look! I don't know why I like my face just like starts turning red whenever I rub stuff into it and it made me look like I was getting angry. And just this eyeshadow is super aggressive. Gives me a great hydrated glow under my foundation. Same foundation as usual. The Maybelline bullshit. I really need to go makeup shopping because this is not my color, sis. I've been in the sun a little, like not a lot. You know me, I don't, I don't like to bake. Not really, not anymore. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's not it. But the other one that I have, it's not it either. It's too dark. Like I just have to make this work. And it's fine, it's fine because I'm the queen of making things work. Desperately need to go makeup shopping. So I might not talk about all the products I'm using because I might not really like them, but it's all I have right now because I've always hated going into Sephora and now that it's like a freaking maze in 30 questions at the door, like I don't wanna go. I'm literally not even looking at anything right now. I just, no, what a contour. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I could just feel it. I could just feel where it's at in my face. I will say, I do really f with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I do. I mean, I'm almost out. I need more. We're swishing it around in there. But I, I enjoy it. It works. I enjoy it. It's cheap. It's probably the one thing I enjoy the most about it. Now, because we got all that shit under our eye, we're just gonna do like one little extra, a little dab. Just a little dab will do. Now, if baking's not really a part of your routine, it will be if you ever do a dark shadow look like this, because baking's really the only way to fully conceal all that shit under your bottom lash line. Ooh, bitch. I'm getting like black swan vibes though. I'm just gonna do a little more nose contour because I just feel like it could be a little better. I feel like I'm looking very drag-like right now, but I like I don't mind it. We need more freaking bronzer. That's what we need. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this big, big fluffy brush. We're gonna go in and we're just gonna dab, 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 dab to dab some color in because she's looking real pale. But that's also what happens when you dye your hair black. I remember the first time I ever dyed my hair black in high school. I did the shade blackest black or darkest black or like whatever it was that I bought from Sally's. 
and did it right before picture day or like two days before picture day and I went to school and my friend that I hung out with like before class started was like are you sick I was like no he goes, oh you must have just dyed your hair darker I'm like I did but what then fast forward to like one of my classes I was in I get there and this guy who sits next to me goes, are you sick? I go, no, I dyed my hair dark. And he goes, that's what it is. And I'm like, the f So I was like, I can't be remembered like this, this sickly looking girl. So what did I do? I made my mom make me an appointment for my hair. They stripped the black out of my hair and they put like regular brown or like whatever I asked for. I was like, just want like a little bit lighter. Can you just like lighten it? And she's like, oh no, honey. Oh no. It's a whole process. We gotta strip it and recolor it. Your hair's gonna be fried, so we have to trim it. I was not happy. But I fixed my hair for picture day. Shout out to my mom though, because I was a little fing brat. I mean, I'm still a fing brat, but. So let's just add some blue eyeliner and see where that leaves us. I don't think I've used this on my channel yet. This is the Suva Beauty. Did I ruin it? Uh, it's interesting. Well, let's get this over with and done with. I wasted way too much time on this stupid look. I figured out how to make this look look way better. You just um, cover it. 